In this class, we will discuss about intrinsic evidence. Intrinsic evidence is nothing but the evidence which is which a wave when travel in any medium will get it. Now it means that let's say a wave is traveling in any medium, the opposition which a wave gets in that medium is nothing but the intrinsic evidence. Intrinsic evidence would be given by a symbol called as eta. For a plane wave, intrinsic evidence will be given by this expression j omega mu by sigma plus j omega epsilon. Now, this is also equal to E by h which is nothing but it is intrinsic impedance is also equal to the ratio of electric field to that of magnetic field. Now, let us try to find it out the intrinsic impedance in case of different medium. Let us take first medium as A lossless medium. What we know about lossless medium? Lossless mediums are the medium where there would be no loss, right? So the free charge carriers would be zero, right? When I say free charge carrier would be zero, can I say that sigma would be equal to zero, right? If the sigma is zero, the conductivity is zero, the free charge carrier would be zero. Let us substitute this. So, my eta in this case would be sigma which goes to 0. So, can I say that this quantity would be j omega mu by j omega epsilon, right? Now, I can simplify this. This will become mu by epsilon. In free space, this will become mu naught by epsilon naught, right? Mu naught by epsilon naught, when you substitute, you will get a value which would be nothing but 120 pi or 377 ohm. As it is an impedance, I am giving a unit as ohm. Now, so we have find what is the impedance offered in a lossless medium that comes out to be 377 ohm. Let us try to find in another medium. In case of lossy medium, in case of lossy medium, what we know? In a lossy medium, it means there will be lot number of free charge carriers. So, can I say that sigma would be very, very high? So, in that case, I will say that sigma would be very, very greater than 1. Right? If sigma is very very high, can I say that this quantity will be huge? If this quantity is huge, I can neglect this. So, if I rearrange this equation, eta would be j omega mu by sigma. Now, if I rearrange this equation, it would be omega mu by sigma angle 45 degree. As this is an impedance, you can see that it is an angle of 45 degree. So, in this exercise, we have already find it out what would be the intrinsic impedance in case of a lossless medium where sigma would be 0 or in case of lossy medium where sigma will be very very high. We will see more on this in the next videos.